this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We are currently in the middle of doing the Champion's Ballad, which is a, um, yeah, especially the, the second DLC pack. I have the, the one-handed obliterator, I think this thing is called. Oh, yeah, the, the one-hit obliterator. Oh, no, is it going to let me... No, I can't equip anything else. That is so sad. It's so sad. So basically, it's the strongest weapon in the game. If I hit kill, if I hit anything with it, they're dead. The problem is, is anytime I'm holding it, if anything hits me, I'm dead. And I have been struggling. So what I'm going to do, just to get out of my system, because at some point I'm going to be dying in this episode. I'm going to be dying a lot. I'm going to run him, and I'm just going to go like full force. I'm just going to run in and try and kill everything, and not be sneaky or smart at all. And just have one attempt, just to get my death out of my system now. And who knows, maybe it will go lucky and I do actually take everything out. That won't happen though, but let's just <laughs> let's just do this for one go. And then we're, we'll play properly and actually sneak around. I've got them so rolled up. Oh, hello! Hello! God, they're gonna get me! Oh, get them! Get them! Get them! No, okay, I'm dead. Right. So I got that out of my system. That is just to confirm to me that is not the strategy here. That is not the way we play. So I can't equip any other melee weapons and I can't eat anything to put my hearts up at all. But I can have like elixirs and things. So I, I was able to have like a sneaky elixir, which I don't know what that does. <laughs> I don't, it just makes me extra sneaky in some way. So I think I'm going to, to have to, to have that and uh, use that to try and sneak uh, around. So there's a Bokoblin camp. Uh, then there's this one. Then there's two other ones that I haven't visited yet. So that's all coming up. So I just got to get this strategy down and then I'll be fine. So uh, let's go and, uh, and eat this. This is going to put my stealth up, whatever that means. It's going to make me extra sneaky. Uh, and then let's go and see. Let's see if we can actually sneak up to this guy. So I feel like, would he have seen me normally then? Like maybe, does it mean that I can walk around not crouched and he won't see me as much? Oh, okay. No, that's not it. Oh, no, no, not the horn. Okay, they've all seen me. Okay, let's get away. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. <laughs> okay, I was just testing how, like, I never use those, those like, stealth up things. So I was just testing, like, how much of an impact it would do. And by the looks of things, it wasn't the, the biggest impact in the world. And whoa, these guys are fast. Let's see if I, oh, get them, get them. There we go. There's that one down. Let's throw a bomb down there. This actually might be not a bad strategy to, like, hide out in this little cave. And then maybe I could just, like, fire bomb arrows at the doorway and take them all out that way and then just use bombs. Is anyone else chasing me, though? This, uh, this might have worked out. And I've kind of, like, I've disrupted them a little bit, I feel, as well. Because they're all in, like, they're, oh, hello, hello, okay. And boom. And boom. And boom. And, okay, he's dead, he's dead. Oh, hello, there's one behind me. How did you get behind me? Ah, did he drop down from above? Okay, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. Okay, I've set fire to the grass. I've got to be careful because <laughs> I'm still inside here and I've set fire to the grass. Let's go and throw another bomb to the, the doorway in case one tries to surprise me. So bombs don't do much damage, but it really like knocks them back. So, oh, okay, there's one there. There's one there. I can see. I can, oh, hello, hello, hello. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, no, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, okay, I got them. I got them. I got them. This is so tense. This is so tense. Okay, this is not the smart way to do this. This is like the opposite of being sneaky and smart, but it's working. I'm going to save. I'm going to do like a backup save, I think. Just so I have this place saved here. This, is, this has been good progress, hasn't it? This, is, this has gone well so far. Despite the fact that everything that should have made it go well has like not gone well. Oh, I'm getting good stuff here. Oh, I'm getting all those good things. I, I, was, I was hoping to get like more bomb arrows or something. Because they, they're working really well. Because they're very hard to hit, these guys. They move really unpredictably. So bomb arrows are good because you don't have to be, don't have to be accurate to, to hit them. But it looks like I've dealt with all of the... All of the ones that are at least close by to me. Let's uh, let's not equip bomb arrows for now, though, just because if I panic and like blast one and it's too close to where I am, then yeah, that's that's not going to end up well for me. So I don't think I've got rid of all of them yet because it's not like changed anything on the the map. So there might still be some up here. I still got my my stealth up, so I can still be sneaky, sneaky. Hopefully a little bit more sneaky than I was before. And let's go for a wonder. Ah, I see them. There's one there. I don't know if there's going to be any more. But let's see if we can actually be a little bit more sneaky and actually... Okay, oh, there's another one. Okay, there's at least two left for me to, to face now. So let's go and push up to some cover here. He seems to be, like, turning around in quite a predictable way. So let's wait until he's done, like, another full rotation. And then I'm going to go in and actually do what I should be probably doing the whole time. And go in with the, 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 the one-hit obliterator and see if I can take them out. I'm just scared someone... Someone else is going to sneak up to me. I keep hearing the weird noises that they're making and it makes me panic. But oh, okay. T turn to the right. Turn to the right. 
Turn right. That's it. Okay, this is my chance. This is my chance. I'm going to be ready to shoot an arrow in case he turns around and surprises me. Let's just get behind this cover here. And oh, is there a guard? There's a guardian there. I think that guardian's got help. Oh, do I have to defeat the guardian? Really? You're going to make me do the guardian as well? I mean, I could try and do that with arrows. It looks like it's a guardian without legs. But, I mean, that's just adding another spanner to the works. I could try and use the, um... The reflect strategy, where I, I reflect the, the beam back at it, could work quite well. But let's go and do a stealth strike on this guy. There we go. That went as good as a, as good as could have been expected. There's another guy roaming down there and one that I think these might be the last two of the, the lizard guys. And then it's just the guardian I need to watch out for as well. I could probably get a ground pound on this guy if I do this and go down. Oh, that was beautiful. Poetry in motion and then run away like a coward. <laughs> Did that one see me? Okay, that one did say, oh, there's bees, there's bees, watch out for the bees. I, I don't want to have done all of this damage and then end up getting killed because I was literally stung by a bee would be the most depressing way for this to, to all end. <laughs> right, I want to try and take up that guy without the guardian seeing me. I think one arrow shot should do it. Oh no, okay, two arrow shots. Okay, that's good. I just didn't want him to, to get like, so he's like moving around. And oh, that's it. Oh, we did it. Okay, so I didn't have to take out the guardian. It would be good to take out the Guardian, like, anyway, just to get that stuff. But maybe not now. Maybe now's not the time to do it. And also made a shrine appear. Oh, okay. I didn't know that was going to happen. I wonder if this is going to be a proper shrine, like a puzzle one. Or whether it's just going to have some goodies in it for me. Uh, right, there's the Guardian. Is it going to see me if I make my way to the shrine? <laughs> Actually, wait a minute. I can hit, I can kill it in one hit, can't I? I can just do this. <laughs> what am I thinking about? Reflecting the, the beam and all of that stuff. I can just take it out in one hit. Oh, that was good. That felt nice because these little lizard guys, like, it's not much easier to take them out with this thing than it would have been anyway. But that was a satisfying way to kill a guardian. Normally, like, one of the most difficult things in the game. And I know there's some more of these guys that they come alive as well. It might be worth just taking them out now just because it's a really easy time to do it. And oh, no, bees! Bees! Run away from the bees! <laughs> Don't get stung by a bee. That would be the most depressing way for the, the hero of time to be taken out by a bee sting. <laughs> but that could actually happen. I feel so good. That was so challenging. It was such a weird strategy just to hide in that cave and do bomb arrows. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. And that was what I had to do. And it worked. So don't judge me. I got it done. I don't care if you were able to sneak around and you took out every single one with one hit without anyone seeing you. That's fine for you. I hid in a cave and threw loads of bombs and fired bomb arrows. That strategy worked for me. Who's there to complain? <laughs> and oh, oh, it is. Oh, this is cool. We're getting like proper, proper extra shrines to do. This is good. I didn't know if there's going to be any of these in the, the DLC. If we get a bunch more spirit orbs as well, then I would have been very, very glad uh, to have done this uh, before going to, to, to take out Ganon. So it looks like we have spiky floor. We have panels that we can put over the spiky floor. The spiky floor is also bouncing up and down. If it wasn't a challenge enough, it's also bouncing up and down. It's kind of good, though, because the way it bounces up and down can kind of help keep these in place a little bit, can't they? So tell you what, it looks like the chest is over on this side here. So let's let's start off by heading from this side here. Uh, and then I need to climb up that metal block by the looks of things in order to, to get the, the chest. So nothing crazy difficult looking so far. It's just a... Uh, it's just a little bit unsteady, isn't it, with the way that these bounce up and down? Uh, oh, this one's a bit of a this one's a bit of a rockety one. But what I should be able to do now is loop this one around to here. I don't think it's gonna ever like actually just completely tip me off. So I should be. Oh, oh, look at that! Oh, I, I I slid my one with this one. Would this be another way to do it? Could I just? Oh, I, I can't even actually do it properly now. But I could have probably just used this just to slide this one along. Could have been quite a fun way to, to do it. But let's go and grab this. Uh, oh, can I reach it? Oh no! Oh, I didn't think about that. I might need to go a little bit uh, closer to that way just so I can reach that. I've kind of messed myself up a little bit by the way I've done this though. <laughs> but I can do this one to to here basically just so I can move across so I can get the the big barrel because uh, so I think I'm going to need that to, to grab the the chest okay there we go I can move this I need to put this right down here like this and I might be able to jump and like just paraglide to it but I kind of don't want to risk it but these these things are like they weigh nothing the way they've been like flung around so easily is crazy right there we go if nothing else we were able to to get the the chest and I should be able to jump straight my way to the end and oh Forest Dweller Shield. Oh, that's a fancy shield. Really good as well. Definitely glad I went and grabbed this. Not that it's going to help me because I get taken out by one hit. And I wasn't on the spike. I wasn't on the spike. 
I was next. I was on the ground. You saw I wasn't on the spike. I wasn't on the spike. <laughs> it's crazy because like this probably wouldn't have been that big of a challenge if it wasn't for like um the the fact that I get killed in one hit. Like that would have probably just knocked me back. Do I do I still have my shield? Is the chest open? Let me see if I got my if I got my shield. So okay, I've got the shield. So all I need to, to do is just make my way across to the the other side, which probably shouldn't be as much of a challenge. Let's see if I can try. This might be a good opportunity to try that other strategy then, where I just use. Oh, this is a bit scary when they're bouncing around. But yeah, let's see if I can just use this one to slide me across. If I kind of go like, oh, I need to kind of push down and like towards me. Oh look at this. I've made a lot. I've made a little car. I'm driving. Look at me driving. Oh, that was cool. I'm kind of glad that I fell down. I got to try that out. And look, I'm not touching a spike. Don't say that I died. I'm not touching a spike. God, we're not done yet, though. We are not done yet, though. It makes me so much more tense. Right. I think this is just a parkour challenge, isn't it? Is there? Or can I? Can I use stasis on these guys? Ah, I can. Right. So I can use stasis on this one, but then. I can't use stasis on the next one until we go. So what I might do is not use stasis on this one, but instead use it on that one, and then just run on this one and try and avoid being put into the spikes. It's turning quite slow. The next one's turning much faster. That's the one that's worrying me a, lo a little bit more. So let's um let's stop this one. Just run along this one, and oh. Okay, I hit the spike that time. I ran right into it. <laughs> I got too excited. Let me cut ahead until I got back to this puzzle again. Okay, I'm back. I did my little awesome car strategy to, to get back here again. Right, let's be a little bit more careful. God, this is scary. And then run around. Oh, is this it? Okay, but now I'm on a treadmill. And oh, what's happening here? What's the deal? Okay, I can see. Uh, let's, uh, oh, oh, can I stop all of it? I think I can stop the, all of the treadmills. Okay, let's just chill out on this one for a bit. And then stop the treadmills and then just try and run straight through. Because this is an absolutely terrifying place to be. No, no, I can only stop one of them. Okay, so it's just that one I need to watch out for. So let's enter from this side and then there we go. So I, I kind of entered from the right of the treadmill and ran slightly left. And so that way I was okay. That was scary. And oh, really? We're not done yet. So I need to glide through all of these. So I can freeze one of them. I just need to decide which one do I want to... I think I might freeze the last one because that would be the worst one to, to mess up on. And then I just want to go this way. Then I want to go to the right. And oh no! It hit the wall and then it got me. I think that was the right idea though to kind of zigzag through them all. I think I was just a little bit too fast. I think if I just went slower and just kind of froze and then waited. But I just wanted to get through that as quick as I can. So once again, let me cut ahead until I'm instead back to that puzzle. <laughs> okay, I have uh, arrived back safely. Like none of these puzzles are that, that difficult. I'm just doing badly at them. And like it's when it's like your, your first time doing them and you don't really know what you're doing. Uh, right, do you think freezing that one is the way to go, the last one? Or maybe freezing the middle one might be an easier way to, to do it. Let's go, let's go and have a go trying to freeze the, the middle one. And let's go across now. I can take my time a little bit. No rush, no rush, there's no rush. And across. Okay, see? See what happens when you don't rush, see what happens when you take your time. Are we done? Oh, please tell me we're done. Oh, what's that? Do I just need to stand on it? Don't tell me that I had to bring something through here. Don't tell me that I was supposed to be carrying a box through here or something. Because that was going to make me cry. Okay, I'm going to step on this. We're not done. They, they had another room full. Oh, righty then. Okay. Uh, can't freeze that. Got to run. Got to run. I got a box here. I put stasis on that if that's going to help anything. And then, oh, what's going on? Oh, okay. 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 Fit through this little gap here. Where, where are they? Okay. Jump over this box. Uh, what's happening next? Okay, jump over there. Oh, go around the side. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. I think that was right. I just slipped a little bit. I don't know what was the deal with that one behind me. I don't know if that just kind of poked out the once or something. I, I, I thought it was going to be like kind of continually following behind me. That just does seem to be another one where taking your time seems the way to go. Because they only like move out when you get close to them to, to scare you. Let, let me show you this though. Let me show you my speed run. I'm not going to cut ahead this time. Let me show you how fast I can get through all of these ones now. Because <laughs> let's be honest, I've had the practice now. So, <laughs> oh, what? Look, you can see. Look where I fell down. Look, you can see there wasn't a spike there. You can see it. You can, I was standing on the, I was, I was probably, I was probably a little bit on the spike, let's be honest, but, I mean, I don't, I don't want to admit that it was my mistake, it's not, like, I can blame the game, like, the blame can't speak up, the game can't speak up, sorry, it's not, like, I can't say, that was Zelda's fault, and then, like, the Switch isn't gonna suddenly jump up and go, no, it was you, like, <laughs> so I can blame, it's, you know, it's like when you, like, stub your toe on something, and then you, like, blame the thing you stub the toe on, it's like, it's just because it can't speak up, <laughs> you just, <laughs> you might as well, it's better than, you know, admitting that it was your own fault, but anyway, as I was gonna show you, is this part, I got pretty good at. Uh, just try and keep the, 
this um this long one like in the way it's facing because uh one time i accidentally kind of span it around and it made it way difficult but oh let's go i could probably make that but let's play it safe and let's just move a little bit closer forward you just got to make sure you keep kind of pushing down is the the way to go be very careful with the the exit here this is another one where not rushing uh not rushing is a, a good thing to to do you kind of want to take your time here because it's very, very easy to run straight into those spikes. And then on this one, uh, I think I recommend doing the, the second treadmill, uh, stopping that one. I could probably make it through without using stasis on any of these, but why rush? Play it safe. Play it safe. It's a difficult one and it's a long train of puzzles with a lot of spikes. So you might as well take your time and do it safe. This one, you can kind of take your time with a little bit. And there we go. No panic. No panic needed. Yeah, this is the the one that I... Why do I keep shooting my bow? I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, this is the one that I've uh, had most struggles with, uh, I guess, as you have uh, have seen. But I did okay last time. I do think freezing the, the middle one might be the, the way to, to go. Because that way, like, you never have to do two of them in a row. So... Oh, okay. Or freeze the end one. We'll do <laughs> just fine. So once again... Oh, no, no. Ah, it came back really quickly. They move really unpredictably. Like, if they just kind of swang back and forth in like a perfect rhythm you could kind of just learn like how to go through but they just seem to be all over the place so i do think that freezing the middle one is the way to go and that kind of threw me off a little bit so yeah let me go and cut ahead until i've got back to that final stage then okay i have just about made it back to this uh this same puzzle again so <laughs> wish me luck let's see where we're gonna be able to, to make it this time yeah so i don't know if there this one is just always following after me I don't, it's, it's hard to, to tell because like the camera stays facing it so let's Let's just get a move on, shall we? And just not be too slow. But let's still kind of take our time a little bit. It's just so scary. Because not all of the ones, like, chase you. By the sounds of it, by the sounds of the ram rumbling, it looks like there is still kind of one following behind me. This one, yeah. This one I need to go around the outside on. I'm scared they're going to go again. This one, I guess I need to jump on here. And then go like this. Oh, is that it? I think I did it. Right, let's just go. Let's just go and do this straight away in case I think it's still following me. Wow, what a shrine. What a shrine. I mean, I did my absolute best to make it look way more difficult than it even was, but that was not an easy shrine. <laughs> way to make me work for my spirit orb. I guess the good thing, though, is these are all like little bonus spirit orbs. I mean, they're the same as normal spirit orbs, but these are like ones that I wouldn't have got unless I was like doing kind of this trial. So it's kind of good that I'm getting a bunch of extra spirit orbs, but way to make me work for them. <laughs> I already got the, the shrine to appear after doing a really difficult challenge and then the shrine wasn't easy and I doubt the other ones are going to be any easier. Let's go and at least scout out one of the the other camps just to see what we're going to to be facing so as i said one i've seen before which is the bow coblin one uh which is the one in the the, the the forest let's go and check out this one shall we let's go and uh and keep looking this way so basically i need to hell was it was it was it this one is that the one no is it this one it's the one on the left so it's, yeah this one down here so yeah let's go and head to, to that one now and let's see what we're going to, to be facing there so i've just thought about is i could like play around with my armor a little bit because the armor i have at the moment is one to to give me good defense but that doesn't really matter too much, does it? Having defense. <laughs> Seeing as like, no matter what, I'm going to be taken out in one hit anyway. Having good defense just doesn't really mean anything right now. But while we're going through here, are, are any of these the ones that are going to come alive? Oh, I hadn't searched this one. Let's go and grab that. I think that, that there is one around it. Actually, I think I might have defeated it. I think there might have been one down here that I defeated. But there's got to be some of these still alive, surely. Because I remember these guys being a huge pain when I first came through this area. Like... It was like a lifetime ago when I first came through here when I started playing Zelda. I remember these guys being so tough, but it looks like they're all at least pretending to be asleep because they're scared of me going and taking them out. So yeah, let's go and leave this place. But this just seemed like to be a really easy time to, to go and take out some more of those things because it's good to get more of those materials because uh, when I do go up against Hyrule Castle, I reckon there's going to be loads of guardians in there. And uh, if you get enough of that stuff and enough money, of course, as well, uh, then you're able to, to get armor that really protects you against all of, like, the, the Guardian stuff, all of, like, the ancient weapons. And I'd really love to be able to get that. But it looks like we have come across our next camp, and it's more of those... I can never pronounce their name right. The lizard people, I always call them. So I think I got some armor that will allow me to, like, blend in with them a little bit better. So let's go and see... Uh, yeah, here it is. Uh, oh, no. Oh, this is for uh, moblins. <laughs> It looks so silly. I mean, I could just wear that anyway. Uh, but what, is there anything else that would help me out more? There's something that would help me out for climbing. 
things that will put like my damage up but once again that doesn't really matter either so yeah I guess we're I guess we will just wear this and then hopefully if there's any other of these guys we can blend in with them <laughs> let's just go and do one one attack in this episode if it fails I think we'll leave it there but let's give it a go these are the ones we're supposed to be facing yeah it's got to be these ones I think there might be a lot of them though because we see we do still seem to be uh, like quite uh, far away from like the the main area that we're supposed to go to and you've seen me already have you oh that's a um a moblin let's maybe go and put a, a bokoblin sorry let's maybe go and put and go and put this one on so then that way they won't be able to, to see me so i guess i haven't really done very much is you can use stasis on enemies and it's normally a really good way to to get them off their horses so that maybe is something that i can do a little bit more on the, the future it looks like a lot of them are quite tough as well but there we go i was able to take out this one and whoa there are loads of them there are loads of them well let's see if we can uh, if we can back off uh, a little bit and let's see if we can kind of do what we did last time and maybe like funnel them in somewhere so we can try and deal with them mainly one at a time this guy shouldn't be too bad because if i get stasis on them there we go i was able to, to get them off the the horse and he is out of there before he even comes out of stasis he is gone so i mean so far so good the the sneaky approach once again didn't work but to be fair i'm just really really bad at doing stealth so <laughs> i never really expected it to work that uh, that well anyway so let's maybe keep doing that maybe kind of doing like these these waves of attack where we kind of run in, do some damage, and then back off and then run in again. Because at least that way I'm not like facing them all at the, the same time. Because one on one, I think I can hold my own. But it's when I get outnumbered, that's when the, the troubles really start to, to begin. So there's one up in there. You see that guy in the hill up there? There's a guy chilling out up there. He's the one that's worrying me at the moment, but I know there's a bunch more Bokoblins all the way around the outside. But let's go and do a cheeky save. Seems as this has gone, you know, so well so far. Uh, let's see if we can save our progress for for now, and then see if we can push closer. There are eyes on that guy! You can see me from here? That is ridiculous. Um, and oh, there's one of the, um, those biggins down there as well. Maybe I should change back to the, uh, change back to, to this then. I mean, I don't know how much that's going to make it look like I can blend in with them. But hey, if I if that guy doesn't see me, it doesn't, you know, that's only going to be a good thing. The other thing is, though, is that like, um, it doesn't really matter if they're like the stronger enemies because I take them out in one hit anyway. So I'm not even like necessarily more scared of the, the big guys compared to the, the small ones. But oh, look, this guy's about to walk past that bomb there. Let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can get a fire arrow and blow up that bomb as he goes past. Go, 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 go. Did I get it? Oh, oh, explosions. Big explosions. I got their attention at least. I don't know he could see him running away. <laughs> it revealed where one of the uh, the bow coblins are, at least for, for me. But that guy, he's seeing me every time I move anywhere. So let's just let's, let's just not worry about him for now. And let's see if we can take out some of these these lesser ones on the, the outside. Can we take out that guy? Oh, he moved. He moved just as I fired. And okay, they've seen me now. This guy is going to come to me. But there we go. I was able to, to take him out. Uh, let's see if we can take this one out with the bow as well. There we go. No problems there. The thing is, is these weak ones really, as I said, aren't a hugely different compared to the, the other ones. And oh, that one's got an, uh, an explosive barrel. Okay, well, this might this might actually end up good for me. And oh, he blew himself up. He blew himself up. That was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. I wasted one of my arrows, but that was amazing. Let's see if we can just hit this guy with the, um, the thingy then. So I might just stasis him. Stasis, 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 and then hit him. Right, he's done. He's out of there. He's done. The, big, the bigger they are... The harder they fall by the looks of things. <laughs> and if I get down to more 1v1s, I can just keep using this stasis strategy. But it looks like they've decided for now at least to, to go and back off. That guy at the top is just going crazy with his horde and just no one's listening to him. He's like, he's there, guys. Why aren't you listening to me? But there we go. He is now out of there. So stealth uh, might be uh, another option for, for now. And oh no, oh no, this bow cobbler might be dangerous. And oh, I hit him off the horse. I hit him off the horse. I don't have any stasis left. But there we go. I was able to, to finish him off. This is so tense. This is so unbelievably tense right now. <laughs> I can go and grab some of these goodies. I mean, I don't need these hugely. I mean, the... Uh, the monster parts, they're always great to get, but I'd rather like arrows or something right now, just in this tense situation. It's hard to like think about collecting loot when you're in such like a, <laughs> a stressful situation as we are now, but I think this is worth another cheeky save. I can't resist my cheeky saves. I gotta have another cheeky save before going back in. I don't know what makes them cheeky, but I just feel like, I feel like it's almost as like cheeky because you're kind of almost not cheating, but you're kind of, you know, if I fail now, I'll go straight back to that save rather than starting from the, the beginning. Was that the last one? That was it! That was the last one! We did it! I don't know if I should celebrate because I now know that I'm gonna have to do another one of these super hard shrines. Like the shrines even look like scarier, don't they? They got like this giant 
bit on the top. It looks like they just took a normal shrine that someone's just like jammed something into the top of it and just got like a really pointy top. It just makes them look so much more menacing. Like, uh, like my brain is so trained to like be happy when I see a shrine, but now like it's scaring me seeing those ones. But oh, look at that! Just as I ordered more arrows. Oh, that is really useful actually because they are going to come in so handy. And oh, look down here. Oh, look, oh, fire arrows as well. Oh, this is good then. So this is going to make the, the other ones easier. And you know what? I did this one first try. So may maybe I'm just... You know, maybe I'm getting a little bit better, and maybe I was just a little bit too panicky the, the first time. Oh, look, even more arrows up here as well. Oh, there we go. Another five uh, five fire arrows uh, is, uh, is very handy. So, yeah. I think we're done for today. I think I need to go and come down and have a cup of tea or something, because... <laughs> This is a little bit too stressful for me. I'm going to leave the silly mask on for now, though. There's no reason to take off the silly mask. So I think I'm going to wear that. And I can kind of jump up and down and make his nose wiggle a little bit as well, which is pretty amazing. But yeah, we're going to start off the, the next episode by going straight down into this uh, this shrine. And uh, hopefully I've uh, been able to, to complete it a little bit better than the, the one that we uh, faced earlier on to today. So as always, there'll be a link down in the description uh, to the next episode once I've uploaded it. But for now, thanks for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!